attachment here. Someone's very assertive, you know, it's like listening to the universe, you know, listening to your higher calling. Uh, right now, I feel like things have come to a pause, okay, because someone made a decision about something, okay, we'll clarify why. You, with the eight of swords here, you're stuck on this person, okay? You're stuck on this person whilst this person in their mind, they're losing faith and hope that things will ever work out between you guys. Right now, none of you are nurturing or feeling this connection, okay? That's why the situation is getting nowhere, okay? None of you are paying attention to this connection right now. In your feelings with the page of pentacles in reverse here, you probably feel that this person is procrastinating, they're not putting in the work, they're not investing into this, or you're just obsessing about communication, but you're not you're not communicating. You're just holding back communication. This person feels the need to be very guarded, okay? They have trust issues with you. You could have walked away from this person, okay? And they feel the need to stand up for themselves, okay? This is someone who likes to fight, uh, who likes to win under any cost, okay? But someone who has a habit of sabotaging the connection. Yeah, this person is sabotaging the connection for now, okay? Because, and anyway, they have a very negative mindset towards this relationship here. You feel stuck on this person here, but right now you're not investing into them. You, you just feel this is something that just cannot work out. That's why it's, it's taking some time to get off ground, okay? In your actions with the two of pentacles here, you're juggling the idea of wanting to go back to this person. And now you're like, either your mind, either you're juggling two people here or you're just in two minds, okay? Do you want to get this person? Do you want to go back to this person or not, okay? You're trying to weigh out your pros and cons. This person with the seven of cups here is the same as you. You're both in the same energies. They're confused, you're confused, okay? No one's making up their mind here. Because the witch with the devil here as outcome here, things are gonna remain toxic, okay? All right, tell me what's the judgment? Maybe someone wants a second chance out here. What's the judgment? But I don't see anyone doing anything about it. Six of Cups in reverse, yeah. Someone finally made a decision to let go of a relationship that you think very negatively of. Six of Cups in reverse, holding a grudge. Someone made, see, that's what I was getting. I was getting a final decision rather than the reconciliation. What's the Six of Cups in reverse? Yeah, and very, very clear decision with Ace of Swords. If there's been some clarity, some communication, or some truth has been revealed, okay? This is like the blunt truth, okay? And someone's come to a realization, to a point, or an epiphany, that you know what, no, it's not gonna work out. I need to let this go. So someone made a final decision to let go of a relationship that has left a bad taste in your mouth, okay? And you're very, very clear about it, very clear. What's the Eight of Swords? Yeah. You're stuck in your mind, you're stuck in the past is what I'm getting, actually. You're stuck in the past because this was a relationship that was just not keeping you happy. This person could be emotionally breadcrumbing you, keeping you, giving you small baits to keep you within the relationship, but you never really reached uh, to a point where you wanted to be with this person. What's the four of cups? You feel neglected by this person, okay? This person wasn't giving you the attention and love that you deserve. What's the four of cups here? Are you still stuck on them? I think you're stuck in the past. Yeah, see where you still want to reverse here. I feel that this was a thing, this was this relationship where you had a lot of false starts with this person, you know? You kept, you know, going in circles with them. You thought, now we'll lift off, now we'll lift off, but you didn't, okay? But it just didn't work out, okay? And now you're not investing into this person for right now. You are procrastinating, you are wanting to communicate, but you're not doing it right now. You know, because this person has a very dirty habit of sabotaging the connection. And you're like, you know what, it's just going on and on and it's a situation getting nowhere. You're just bored of the situation. See, three of wands in reverse. You're fed up. You're turning your back towards this person. Because you would have tried to manifest this person, manifest something from this person. You were waiting for them to come towards you. Anything, but they didn't. Okay, and you're fed up. You're losing your patience. What's the star in reverse here? Why is this on this person's mind? Yeah. This person has lost hope and faith that you will ever be with them, okay? They see you as the desired one. They know you're the eye candy. You're the one that they want. They have a lot of strong attraction, attraction and passion towards you, okay? They're very attracted towards you. But they've lost all hope and faith that you will ever be with them, okay? Because you're, you, you're doing you. You don't really give a shit to them is how they see you, okay? With the queen of wands here. Someone who's very focused on their selves, their career, their goals. See, seven of wands in reverse here. This person sees you as giving up, no longer fighting for this connection. What's the queen of wands? What's the queen of wands? Yeah. And I think they're being very patient.
patient with the process. I think they're not aggressively pursuing you right now because for them, it's like, you know what, I'm just being very patient with the process. They're trying to be very balanced out here, okay? This could also be them on their mind losing hope and faith that you will ever come back to them, okay? And they feel, they, they see you as someone who's uh, being very uh, patient and who's left it to the universe, okay? If it's meant to happen, happen, you know, but that's what's on their mind. I think you are on the mind here because with the Queen of Swords here, I think this person does see you as someone, you know, who's just cutting them off or someone who's just being very cold, detached and someone who's just not letting their emotions overpower their logic. What's the page of pentacles in reverse? That's your feelings. What's the page of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, because it was a waste of time, right? Something was a disappointing situation over and over again. So now you don't feel, you don't feel like investing into this connection anymore. You're holding back. You're holding back communication. Maybe you want it so bad, but you just won't do it. Because this is something that you put in a lot of time and effort in, okay? But you just feel like, you know what? I just did not get the, the rewards. Or, uh, you know, things just didn't come into fruition, okay? It was a long-term investment that you had with this person, but it just didn't work out. It didn't pan out the way you thought it would. And you feel you wasted your time. What's the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? What's the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, now you're hurt. You're hurting badly. Heartbreak, heartache. Emotional trauma, breakup, separation, whatever, right? This is hurting you very bad. There could be a third party situation that came between you guys, doesn't have to be. Guys, third party situation does not have to be someone who's romantically involved. This could be a person, place, thing, job, career, money, anything that came between you guys, okay? Which stop, stop this person from coming towards you or because of which this person constantly keeps sabotaging the connection. Could even be the devil energy. I don't see it here, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? There it is, right? But Ace of Pentacles, I think you want this new beginning with this person, but you just feel like, you know what, if this is a situation that's just getting nowhere, I don't even want to waste my time anymore, okay? Because you're hurting. You haven't healed from whatever happened in the past with this person here. Whatever uh, breakup or whatever emotional distress that you went through with them. And you're not ready to invest in them, at least for now. What's the Five of Swords here? You're holding back communication. What's the Five of Swords in their emotions? Yeah. This person is also turning their back, okay? Let's see, five of swords. I, I need one more card. I'm not sure. Give me one more card. What's the three of wands in reverse? This could also mean that this person is no longer waiting for you to reach out to them and they're, they're wanting to fight for this connection and they're very willing and determined to get you back. Let's see. Give me one more card for the three of wands in reverse here. What's the three of wands in reverse? I don't know. I'm getting mixed signals. Give me three of wands in reverse. What's the three of wands in reverse? Six of Swords. That's what I'm saying. Death in reverse here. This person refuses to let you go. See, that's what I was getting, right? That's why I changed the cards, the clarifications. It can change the entire message. I think this person is standing up now, okay? They are addressing, finally being very honest about um, their feelings, okay? They're no longer waiting, you know? They probably see you as giving up and moving on, okay? But this person is not ready to give you up. They're... I think this person is not going to wait, okay? I think they're fed up of waiting for you to come towards them, but because you're not doing anything about it, I think they're choosing to move towards you. They want to get into calmer waters, first of all, okay? They want to get into a peaceful resolution. They want to get to a better place with you, okay? At least communication-wise. But if you think this person's ready to go, they're not. You've had an ending with this person here, but they're not ready to accept this ending, okay? They want to get into a better place with you. What's the Empress in reverse? What's the Empress in reverse? I get that very determined look, you know, very determined energy from this person. Like, no, you're not going nowhere, you know. I always win and I will win you back. That's what I'm hearing from this person. Empress in reverse, the justice here, yeah, see. Things need to be fair. There is a lack of balance here, okay. There is a lack of equal give and take. Something's not fair, something's not balanced here. So one person or both of you, okay, I think you stop investing into this connection. Because it was not growing, right? It was not growing. What's the justice here? Maybe you wanted marriage. Maybe you wanted commitment. Maybe you wanted something more. Temper in reverse. Yeah, because see, one person out here is a control freak. The emperor and the empress and you're both in the reverse here. So you're both very focused on yourselves. 
for the emperor and emperor uh, empress here okay i feel this is a very divine connection here okay but what's stopping you both from coming together is because you're both very involved in yourselves you're both trying to micromanage the, the, micromanage the entire situation here i feel you're both being control freaks right now okay and i think you because of which because the situation is just not fair something's just not balanced here you're both out of balance here three of cups in reverse here there's a lack of reconciliation you're both trying to you know i don't know both of you are being very stubborn right now no one's ready to budge what's the two of pentacles i think you're both fighting for justice okay but you're not doing it the right way what's the two of pentacles here in your actions leo what's the two of pentacles here Yeah, you're trying to juggle the idea of wanting to go towards this person with a commitment or wanting to go wanting to have a new start with this person. What's the ace of pentacles? What's the ace of pentacles? What's the ace of pentacles? For us all, yeah, you're not doing anything about it. You're constantly going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Do I want to? Do I not want to? Do I want to? Do I not want to? However, it's there. But there is going to fall out here, okay? Lovers in reverse here. One person was emotionally more involved than the other here. And you bought this, okay? But you're just not doing anything about it. You're just thinking, processing, you know, just taking a step back, needing your space. You know, I think you're constantly thinking about this person here. But when it comes to doing something about it, you're not. Seven of Cups. Why is this person confused? Can I have the Seven of Cups? Why is this person confused? Seven of Cups. Yeah, see, Page of Wands. They're confused about taking action towards you or wanting to communicate with you. They're showing up as a hangman here. The same shit. I think this is a twin flame connection here. You're both absolutely mirroring each other, okay? They're doing exactly what you're doing and vice versa. Absolutely. They're very confused about how to communicate with you, okay? With the Page of Wands here. They're trying to get see things from a different point of view, which I literally like. They're trying to get a new perspective to this entire connection here. What's the page of wands? What's the page of wands? What's the page of wands? Sign for the page of wands. Queen of Swords. Yeah, see, this person is not sure if you're going to be if how you're going to take this communication, okay? Because with the Queen of Swords, yeah, this person is. You know what I'm feeling? I feel that this person here is thinking about communicating with you, okay? But I think like this person is either attached to someone else right now, okay? And um, now I feel that this person wants to communicate with you, but for right now they're confused because instead of going with their passion, they're trying to be more logical out here. Yeah, I think they're being more logical. They're trying to suppress their emotions. They're not letting their emotions overpower their logic is what I'm getting here. They want to communicate with you in their actions. They will. But I think the way they come off to be is going to be very logical. It's like, yeah, like, I mean, we need to talk. Something like that, okay? I think they're confused of what the right approach should be towards you. That's, that's what the confusion is about, okay? Ace of Cups and this person wants a new emotional cycle with you, okay? They want to return back to you. Can I put the devil here? Why is the devil here as the outcome? Why is the devil here as the best possible outcome? King of Cups and the Two of Wands. See, someone needs to make a decision out here, okay? Because they are obsessed and addicted to you, okay? This person does have a lot of love for you, but this person needs to make a choice. They need to make a choice of whether they want to move forward, move away from you, okay? Or if they're choosing to commit to you, then they need to make a choice, okay? So this person's half and half out is what I'm getting. They're very conflicted. They're sitting at a crossroads and... They're making you wait on a decision here, okay? So you're wanting this, but you're waiting for this person to make a decision. Whilst this person is constantly contemplating on how to approach towards you, okay? How to make that approach towards you. This could also be someone who has two people, okay? I don't know why, but with the two of ones and the king of cups, this person needs to make a decision about probably a water sign, okay? Someone that they're already very stuck, tied and bound to, or someone who's keeping them very restricted, okay? It's another sign. I don't know. I never get this, but I'm just getting that someone needs to make a decision about a water sign. Could be this person here because they have the indecision is more on this side. This is the devil here and this person is probably still feeling very codependent on something or they feel very obsessed or they're just very codependent is what I'm getting on someone else and they need to make a choice about the king of cups. Okay, they need to make a choice. Probably if you're the king of cups, they need to make a choice about you. Okay, they have a lot of luck here but they need to make a choice. Okay, they're keeping you on the fence and you need to wait for it. Okay, 
could be a long distance relationship and maybe they're thinking about how they can get closer to you and how they can make the ends. Okay? So that's what I have for you. Hope this resonates. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.